So it's very exciting. Now we can deploy macOS apps like they were intended. It's a little confusing, so I want to cover it properly. So when you see this, you think, oh, line a business app, that's what I always do. But that's not the case. If you scroll down now, you can see how you can now deploy as PKGs, DMGs, whatever. So typically it's going to be a PKG. And so we select this, we hit select, and we're going to upload Zoom. And you'll see what happens next. You'll hit OK. I'm going to call it whatever you're going to call it. So Zoom Desktop Client. So it's really just kind of whatever you want to name it here. And go, you know, productivity. Next. And again, we want to actually put in the publisher. So this is a different new thing here, our pre-install and post-install scripts. So basically, the pre-install script is a script that you would run before it installs. Post-install is something you would run after it's installed for like configuration or stuff like that. So for some apps, you'll have a bash script that will actually like say set like an environment or set an API key or have it sync or something like that. Pre-install will actually do something before it actually tries to install. And those are typical standard bash scripts. I just want to show you a basic example. And this is not a, this does not apply to Zoom, but say you have a, you have some kind of script that you needed to go and say uninstall Zoom if Zoom exists. So it would do like an uninstall or a cleanup or something like that. And then you might have a, another script that would actually would configure something after that. Post sentence, post install we won't show, but you get the idea. Then you can set and say, okay, I only want this to go to say Ventura. The detection rules are interesting. So you're going to tell it to ignore the app version. And so what you can do is you can actually set this to no and you can actually modify these if you need to. So you want to make sure that app actually installs. For the most part, you can just kind of leave it as is. It's not a big deal. Then you just, you're going to go in. We'll just add all the devices, hit next, and we'll create. And like I said, it's really important that you use this exact method because if you just do it as a line of business application, it's actually not going to deploy correctly. You won't be able to make it as a managed app and things like that. And that's kind of what makes it so confusing, but yet so great in the way they do this now.